Hey, what's going on guys? NT Izuchi here. And if managing personal expectations while building a successful online business has been a pain point for you, stay tuned because I'm gonna share with you three tips to help you solve that. Welcome back. So if you're an entrepreneur, there's a pretty good chance that you are your own biggest critic, right? When you first got started online, you know, you had these huge aspirations, you were highly motivated, but over time you probably ran out of gas, right? And what that did was expose the weaknesses in your own personal capabilities and in your business. Now the truth is this, okay? Those weaknesses do not define you, okay? They don't define you. You really can't beat up on yourself when it comes to those things. The important thing is to manage your personal expectations in terms of you know what you can personally improve on and the things that you don't necessarily need to improve on and that you can probably you know rely on other people so that's what I want to help you with in this particular video so what we're gonna do right now is head over to a live on-screen recording where I'm gonna give you three tips to managing personal expectations in regards to online business and as soon as we're done breaking down these three tips we're gonna head back over to this video and finish out the video All right, so let's head over all right, so if you're struggling with managing personal expectations while building a successful online business, then here are three perspectives that you should consider along with three pro tips to help guide you. Now, it's highly unlikely that you'll make millions or even hundreds of thousands of dollars in your first one or two years building a business through the internet. Now, it's not that I don't believe in you, it's just that the numbers just aren't in your favor. And that level of success, I believe, takes experience, diligent repetition and a relenting attitude but most importantly growth so take this macho man here for example for all we know this kid has all the potential someday to lift that barbell with all that weight on it but there's no way that he's lifting that thing right now but just like you in your business he has to grow first and as time goes on experience what it takes to get there again diligent repetition and having a relenting attitude so here's a pro tip for having realistic expectations out the gate okay avoid a painful start altogether now a painful start doesn't necessarily mean you not making any money what I mean by a painful start is after the first one or two months you have absolutely nothing to show for it because you have improbable expectations for the first few months you haven't created value that serves your target audience or you choose a product or business that you really don't care about the key is to have patience okay focus on working your skill set that will generate revenue add value and be a resource to your market and don't get tangled with things that make you a roadblock to your own success which brings me to my next point managing expectations from a technical perspective now all too often particularly when it comes to building an online presence people tend to forget about the actual skill set or knowledge that got them to where they are and they become so entangled with the technical setup of things Unfortunately, what ends up happening is they get in their own way of success and try to do everything. Trust me, a majority of the time, it's not even worth it, at least when getting started out. So here's a pro tip for managing expectations when it comes to the technical setup of things, okay? It's simple. Don't let technical hurdles stop you, okay? Just get your web presence set up and functioning. If there are some technical features that you're dying to have and you either don't know how to do it or will take forever to do it yourself, then outsource the task and make it someone else's headache, okay? Tech savviness won't pay you unless it's your job or your service or product offering, okay? Just hire a professional from a website like Upwork.com and rid yourself of the idea that adding bells and whistles equals money okay oftentimes it doesn't and just results in you growing frustrated when more sales isn't the end result okay if tech isn't your strong point then hand the task over to an expert that will give you the desired product now the third and final point that I want to touch on is managing the expectations of others okay I can't stress how important this is especially if you have family members or a spouse or a significant other that is in some way affected by the outcome of your business you see you might understand the necessary steps and timeline to hitting your goals but they may not if you don't map out and demonstrate to them what your timeline is and the necessary steps to hitting your goals so here's a pro tip for managing the expectations of others okay roadmap 
or define what progression is in your business. Okay, by now, you understand that checks rolling in isn't the only sign of progress, but others most likely will not. So the key to getting their buy-in starts with the person steering the ship, which is you. Okay, identify what progress is in building a successful online business. Okay, make sure they are clear on what progress looks like besides money and keep them in the loop, right? Communicate progress at each step. So I hope these points and pro tips will help you moving forward as you get better at managing your expectations throughout your journey. So let's head back to finish out this presentation. All right, I hope that you got a ton of value from this content. All right, if you are expecting your end goal, okay, to happen overnight, okay, you're just going to end up being incredibly frustrated and probably running into more roadblocks than you probably need to, okay? From a technical perspective, all right, you don't need to be technical Tommy or technical Tammy, all right? There are people who would be more than happy to, you know, take over that department and make your frustrations, okay, their happiness, okay? There are people who actually love the technical side of things, all right? And and if there's people in your life that are significant to you and it would probably be of benefit to you to have them understand what progress really means, okay, really set a roadmap for them that really defines what progress means and what these, you know, steps that you're taking and what they mean to your overall business, okay? Once you do that, I'm sure uh, you'll be well on your way to having more success and actually uh, being enthusiastic as you move forward, all right? So again, I hope that you got some value from this. And if you did, if you're watching this video and you happen to be on YouTube or on Facebook or wherever, make sure to give uh, the video a like. And if you see this blog post on a particular social media platform, make sure to also give it a like. If you have your own thoughts on this particular topic, Topic, I invite you, okay, and I'm more than happy for you to go ahead and hop in the comment section and actually partake in the conversation, all right? And of course, you know, if you know someone who can find this content to be valuable, feel free to share that with them. But of course, I never like to leave you empty handed. All right. If you are an entrepreneur who is getting started in an online business and you kind of don't have sort of a roadmap or something that, you know, you are following on a day to day basis, right, while you're managing all these different expectations. All right. It probably makes sense for you to have some sort of action plan. And so what I did was put together what I call my four step daily action plan uh, for generating more leads and producing more sales uh, in your business, okay? So if you don't have a daily action plan where you can literally wake up every single day and get to work and actually do things that will generate you income, then perhaps you can use the one that I created, okay? So if you want access to that, head over to ntizuchi.com forward slash action plan. And what you're gonna get access to is a PDF document that has this four step daily action plan in details. And there's also some bonuses on there that you're gonna be really excited about once you see them. And beside that is also gonna be a video of me walking you step by step through this daily action plan so you can see how you can start to apply that to your own particular online business. So if you want access to that, head over to ntizuchi.com forward slash action plan. And my friend, I look forward to seeing you on the inside of that short training. Ciao for now.